Hi, I'm Justine Louise. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you guys how I did this hair. Um, I've had quite a few people asking me about my new hairstyle. I have been wearing it in a little bit more of a beachy wave just lately. I've only been doing it for about a month, so bear with me. I am just at the practicing stage still. Um, but I have been watching lots of tutorials because when you're doing a bob, it's a, a very difficult um, because you have so much little hair to do um, beachy waves as opposed to the ladies with the beautiful long hair um, with a curling wand. Um, I'm, it's much easier, but when you're using, trying to do it with short hair, what I have found is using a flat iron to be the easiest, if you can believe it or not. It sounds a little strange, but it's actually been a lot easier than using a curling iron. So today I'm going to film the tutorial for you. Now, I am no expert and I shouldn't even call it a tutorial because I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just thought I would show you guys how I do my hair. Now today it didn't turn out perfect because I'm using my monitor as a mirror and not like my typical bathroom, but I just thought I would kind of walk you through how I get the volume, um, how I have it hold and stay, and the technique I use using the flat iron. So if that's something that interests you, then please stay tuned and the tutorial is coming up next. Okay, so this is washed hair. I washed it last night before bed and slept with it. So there's, I haven't done any styling other than brushing it. But just for, um, I'm just gonna tell you what shampoo I used. Even though when I do this kind of hairstyle, I don't really pay too, too much particular attention to what shampoos I use. As you may have seen in some of my videos, I'm doing a sample use up and I'm also doing a kind of project pan trying to get through some shampoo. So I'm just kind of using whatever. When I do my smooth, straight blow dry, then I'm very particular with what products I use. But for this, um, last night I used my Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Shampoo. Um, it's really nice, but it's a little bit heavy for when I'm doing a voluminous blow dry, so I don't use it then. And I used um, a conditioner, it's also Bumble and Bumble, and it is the Sea Salt um, from the sea salt line because it gives a little bit of texture to the hair supposedly in volume so I used that last night and um, Before I went to sleep. I used this bumble and bumble primer and what it is is it's um, it's from the invisible oil collection and It helps you so when you're brushing out tangles. It's good for that it is a UV protectant and it's also a heat protectant. So I put that because I knew I would be using um, my flat iron today. So it's a little bit of everything. And I then put in something for texture and it is these Bumble and Bumble sea salt spray. And it's supposed to just give um, like a bit of a residue on your hair to make it a little bit more tacky so you can back comb and um, get some volume and all that kind of stuff. So. These aren't ride or die products, they're just things I happen to own, but I would definitely suggest using a um, heat protectant of some sort, whichever one you like, and definitely use some sort of texturizing product. And the next thing I used, it's also another sample, it's from IGK, and it is a coconut oil gel. And I just like I said, it's a sample, I'm just using it up, but I just want to get as much product in my hair to hold the curl and style for as long as possible. So that's all that's in my hair right now. I haven't put any oils. I know a lot of people put in oils when their hair is wet, but I find it kind of clumps mine together and my hair looks greasy. So I tend to use my oils after I've styled. So this is my hair. It's as you can see, I don't have curl, I don't have wave, and it's not straight, so it's just kind of hair. So I brush it all out, and where I've got a lot of my tips is watching YouTube videos. And one girl in particular that I enjoy watching, um, I think she's called Harmonize Beauty, and she has a beautiful hairstyle, and I believe she's a hairstylist. She is absolutely gorgeous. So. If you really feel like feeling bad about yourself, <laughs> go take a look at her videos because she's just stunning. So anyway, I've gotten a lot of really great tips from her because as I mentioned, this is a new hairstyle for me. I normally do my sleek straight bob, so I need as much help and tutorials as possible. 
So one of the things that a lot of people have mentioned in their tutorials is even though you've just washed your hair is to put in a dry shampoo. Um, just again to ha add a little bit more substance to your hair so the curls can grip and hold. So this is a triple sec from Dry Bar. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm using it up. Um, but it also is a texturizer as well. So I think it all helps. So I just put a little bit in my roots, let it dry for a second. And the next thing I use, um, this is a new product for me, it's from Way, and it's called Memory Mist. And I bought it at the VIB sale because um, a lady, her name is, uh, I don't know her name, but she's called A Glittery Life, and she swears by this. She says it makes her curls last forever. So for me, I curl my hair once, and then, uh, unless I'm going out, and I have a special occasion, then I'll redo it. But I usually wash my hair every three days, and the first day it's really, really curly and exactly how I want it, and the next two days it's a little, gets a little bit more lifeless, but at least I still have a little bit of something there. It doesn't go revert back to this style. So I've been quite enjoying this. I did try it in the store first, and I, I liked it, so I ended up buying it, and it smells gorgeous like honeysuckle. So I add a little bit of this on my hair when it's dry, pre-styling. I don't know if there's a heat protectant in it as well, but I do it before I do my waves. And I just kind of let it dry for a second. Then I section it off. And my hair, um, it's fine, but I have a lot of it. So for me, it works out to be about, I think I have three layers that I end up doing. So I kind of just do the bottom, twist it up. And then I just grab one of these clips. Sorry if I keep looking down, I'm looking at my monitor because I'm using a hot tool here. <laughs> I want to keep an eye on what I'm doing. So, that's my bottom. And then what this lady on Harmonize Beauty says is she uses a backcombing brush. Now this one I got at Sephora. I'll link it below. But I mean, I've seen these at Walmart. It's just kind of a... a a tooth comb up here but under here is kind of like boar bristles mine isn't boar but it's just kind of a, a very dense bristly brush and what she says she does is she grabs a section holds it up and then back combs underneath and up I used to kind of just back comb anywhere and then I end up having a bit of a rat's nest then what she does is she uses a hairspray, a working hairspray. Um, this one is from Kenra. There's a lady, um, Dominique Sanchez, I think her name is. I'll link her below. She has a similar haircut to me and she also kind of does the similar style. And she swears by this shampoo. I mean, this hairspray. A working um, hairspray is something you can brush through so you don't have that hard, crunchy, stuff but you still have the hold so I just hold that for a second and then I go around and I do the rest underneath so I just do three or four back combs spray hold it for one second and let it go and then I do it again on this side spray hold it for a second Holding up, and then yeah. and then by the time we get back here, this one's dry. So now we're going to get into using the flat iron. My stepdaughter used to; she used to do beautiful ribbon curls with her flat iron, and I'm never could figure out how she did it but I've just been watching tutorials and practicing and I also spoke to my hairdresser because I happened to see him and what he said made a ton of sense is treat this flat iron like scissors when you're curling ribbons so I don't know if any of you have done curling um, on when you're wrapping gifts and you just kind of drag the scissor along and then you end up with those curls now, he did that on me and I found they were a little too Shirley Temple-ish. I'm looking more for kinks, um, but this is kind of what I do. And it's all trial and error. I never know what's gonna happen. And all tutorials have always said to go in different directions, some going forward to your face and some going backwards. 
I just kind of do whatever feels comfortable for my wrist. And yes, my hair is sizzling, and I think that's the product, I hope. And I just kind of pull, and there. It's just a very small little twist, and then I just kind of ease it into the shape that I'm looking for, and then I just leave it. And then I go on. I know it's difficult for you guys to see the back, and I can't even see the back, so I just hope for the best. And I'm, of course, using this boiling hot tool, so I just kind of wing it. <laughs> and at least get some sort of curl, whether it's under, up, sideways, whatever. And I have some really small pieces, and there's just nothing. I'm not even going to try and attempt to deal with those. My hair just ends up looking just messy and kind of fun. It's just not a perfect hairstyle, and that's what I kind of like about it, because my bob is typically kind of a smooth, sleek, perfect hairstyle. And then this one... So I just let them do their thing, and then I go to It's hard to see without a proper mirror, but my most of my mirrors are magnifying, so that doesn't really help me, and I usually use my mirror in the bathroom when I do this, so bear with me. I'm doing the same thing again. And I'm gonna, this is all new to me. I haven't done a hair tutorial before, but I'll try and figure out in editing how I can fast forward because I'm sure you all don't want to watch me do this. Just looking for some volume and a little bit of kinky curls and I like my ends to be blunt that's what I find with the flat iron it does that because you can kind of leave your ends out a little whereas when I did this with a clamp curling iron I kind of had that rolled under look like a hot roller which is not the look I'm going for and if I was I would use my hot rollers which are much easier <laughs> And again, all these products I'm using, just use whatever you like, but just get something that's going to give you a little bit of texture and definitely use a working hairspray so you can work with it and brush it out if you need to, And but it still has a bit of hold. So I'm going to go back here. Go, clamp in there, sizzle, sizzle, <laughs> and then twist around. You can see they're not perfect, but that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Sorry guys, see it's not getting all the hairs. Uh, it's just really difficult to use in your monitor. I'm getting there. And then the back one is usually pretty tough for me. <laughs> my husband came in the other day and my hair was sizzling and smoking and he's like, what on earth are you doing? At least it's got something. I clamp and I twist and hope for the best. I think I'm going to do 
one and two. And can you see they kind of have a, all have a blunt end, and that's what I like. I just don't want it curled under. So I might, no, I think I'll, no, I can get away with this. I'm just going to do the three. I'm just kind of giving you a bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said, I'm new to this myself. But I know a lot of you are interested to see how I do it. And it's I'm sure with practice I'll get really good at it. And if you're also looking for a little bit of a beachy wave, and if you have shorter hair like me, it is possible. There we go. And I just kind of twist it out for a second while it's still hot. I should have back combed and sprayed first, but... This is probably the most important piece because it's right in front of my face and I always seem to struggle with this one the most. see they're not perfect ringlety curls which I like. There we go. I cross your fingers for this one. <laughs> And you've probably noticed I've been doing different directions and I honestly can't even remember. I just go with what's comfortable with my hands and I can see all smoke. So now because that's a working spray, I can kind of get my fingers through it. closet mirror over there and I'm just kind of looking because it's hard to so yeah this isn't perfect this isn't exactly how I would do it in my own bathroom and I kind of did it when it was the hairspray was still a bit wet which probably wasn't the best idea I just kind of work through it Pull the curls through. Sometimes I'll actually put my head down and shake it up a little. Just work my fingers through, getting that product through as well that I put in earlier. It needs to be smoothed a little. I think they're kind of curled under a little bit on this side when I more so want up but at least it's a little bit of oomph to it as opposed to how it was so flat earlier kind of need to work on it in front of a big mirror I'm sorry but um, what my final thing would do is go through again with the memory mist just a light little bit of spray just to keep those curls and hopefully they'll last until my next wash. I don't like um, 
using hot styling products too, too often. That's why I'm not blow drying. And also I'm not blow drying because of time. I just don't want to spend half an hour, 45 minutes blow drying, styling my hair or flat iron curling, styling my hair every day. And lastly, I put on a little bit of shine oil. Um, you can use the oil that you pour in your hand and rub it through and go through. But I love this one from IGK. It smells amazing. And it, you can use it on hair or body. And I just kind of do a light little mist over my hair um, just to give a little bit of shine and gloss. So it's, it's not ideal. <laughs> But hopefully I could kind of give you a bit of a gist of how I've been styling it. And um, when I use a big mirror, it turns out a little bit better. But I'm still also practicing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click like. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date with all my latest videos. I will also be doing a tutorial on how I do the smooth, straight bob using my new body waiver curling iron so stay tuned for that one as well thank you so much for joining me today and i hope to see you all again soon bye